Hi, I'm Arlen Geyer. Today I want to show you how to uh, create and establish your exposure using a gray card. So first I'm, I'm going to take a picture of this scene behind me here of a tree trunk and some shadows. And um, so I'm going to first of all do it just doing the exposure that the uh, camera suggests. So uh, focus the camera here. It's a little bright out, hard to see. So let's see. Okay, so I'm doing it a thousandth of a second at f5.6. So I've got that set. That's what the meter says to do. So I took that picture. All right, next I'm going to do it using the gray card. Now, um, because I want to shoot in manual, but I, I have to be holding the gray card, it's difficult for me to uh, get the ex exposure holding the gray card. The idea is to hold the gray card in front of the camera in the light that my subject will be in. So I don't want to make I don't want to have a shadow from my camera uh, on the gray card when I do this. Um, and um, I want to make sure that, that the gray card is in the same light as my subject. And uh, so I'm going to be holding the gray card. I want to make it so the entire uh, frame of the picture includes only the gray card. And so I'm going to change to, uh, instead, of shooting, instead of doing this on manual, I'm going to do aperture priority, put on f5.6 because that's the uh, aperture that I choose to use for this shot. And I'm going to then hold the gray card out, making sure that it's in the same light as my subject, which will be right about there. And filling the frame, I press the shutter button halfway down and look at what the meter reading is. And it says it's a 400th of a second. So I'm going to now switch to manual and put it on a 400th of a second. And I'm going to have 5.6. And take that picture. OK. So now I'll uh, go back and see what I got. Okay, it's nice to get in out of the cold. All right, on the left here, you've got the original picture at the meter indicated exposure, and above it is the histogram for it, and on the right is the one where the exposure was determined using the gray card, and it's a histogram. The histogram is showing the relative amounts of different shades of gray from uh, black on the left to white on the right. And if you sort of look at what the average is there, it averages out pretty much in the middle, which is exactly what you would expect it to do because the camera's light meter is targeted to average out to middle gray. So the problem is that this scene does not average out to middle gray. And so the picture, if I expose it the way the light meter tells me to, is going to average to middle gray. And you can see from the histogram that there is nothing that's white, or even really approaching white, in that image. Now if we look at the one on the right, which was the one that was, that was exposed for the gray card, since the light meter targets for middle gray, if we establish the exposure using something that is a known value of middle gray, then the exposure is going to end up being more accurate. And you can see that the snow looks white. The tree is very dark. The tree, actually, if you look at the histogram, uh, you can see that the, on the left side, it's not uh, going all the way down to black. There's nothing that's pure black in there. But um, also, if you look critically at the right side, you see it's not actually going all the way to the edge, uh, which means there's nothing that's blown out white. It's just white. So by determining your exposure using a gray card, you are giving the light meter the value it is expecting to read, and therefore the scene will look more like it actually did. Thank you. I hope this has been helpful.